In Sardinia, the Nuragic civilization, from 1800 to 200 BCE, constructed Nuragi stone towers, as I mentioned, that may have had religious or ceremonial functions. The construction of dolmens and menhirs, large single standing stones, continued in parts of Italy, suggesting a tradition of building large megalithic structures for religious or ceremonial purposes, similar to Stonehenge. Sacred objects, such as figurines, amulets, ceremonial axes, have been discovered in several archaeological sites. These objects are oftentimes representative of deities or spirits. As in earlier periods, nature and fertility likely remained central themes in the Bronze Age religious practices of ancient Italy. The discovery of figurines, often interpreted as a fertility goddess, like the so-called Dia Madre, Mother Goddess, suggests the existence of fertility cults in Bronze Age Italy. The Sabines were an ancient Italic tribe who lived in the central Apennines of Italy, in a region that is now part of modern Italian regions of Lazio, Abruzzo, and Umbria. They were one of the early tribes that settled in the region and were noted for their peaceful coexistence with the Romans. The Sabines are perhaps most famous for their connection to the founding of Rome. According to a legend, Romulus, the founder of Rome, invited the Sabines to a festival during which the Romans abducted the Sabine women to secure wives for the Roman men. This event, known as the Rape of the Sabine Women, is one of the most famous stories of Roman mythology. As for their religion, the Sabines, like many ancient Italic tribes, practiced a form of animistic polytheism, which involved the worship of numerous gods, spirits, and natural forces. Some of the deities worshipped by the Sabines were later incorporated into the Roman pantheon. For instance, Quirinus, a Sabine god of war, became identified with Romulus and was considered one of the three main deities of Rome, along with Jupiter and Mars. Feronia, the goddess of wildlife, fertility, and abundance. Simo Sancus Dius Phidias, who was the mediator god of trust, faith, oath, and honesty. Initially a Sabine goddess, Vicuna may have been a goddess of victory or of agriculture and the harvest. The Sabines also practiced a number of rituals and festivals, some of which were adopted by the Romans. For example, Lupercalia, a festival held in February to avert evil spirits and purify the city, is thought to have Sabine origins. The Sabines were eventually assimilated into the Roman Republic around the first century BCE, and their distinctive culture and language gradually disappeared. However, their influence on early Roman civilization was substantial, particularly in the areas of religion, law, and military. The Samnites were also an ancient Italic people, living in Samnium in South Central Italy. They were known for their wars with the Roman Republic in the 4th and 3rd centuries BCE, known as the Samnite Wars, which resulted in their eventual subjugation by Rome. The religion of the Samnites, similar to the other ancient Italic cultures, was also a form of animistic polytheism. We can infer some aspects of their religion from archaeological evidence. The Samnites would have worshipped a range of gods and goddesses. For example, the Sky Father, Jupiter, the god of war, Mars, and the Mother Goddess, which was a common trio of gods worshipped among the Italic tribes. The Samnites probably venerated natural elements and places such as rivers, mountains, trees, and springs. Silvanus, a god of nature and the woods, also known as Lord of the Wood, 
who is depicted almost exactly like Pan from the Greeks, venerated by the Samnites, and became important even during Roman times, where he was equated and synchronized with Pan. He was also a fertility god, and his festivals, people would gather around, drink wine, and have orgies. The Sand Knights practice a range of religious rituals, such as animal sacrifice and offerings, processions and festivals. They also had a tradition of ritual vow making, which played a major role in their military activities. Divination, the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown by supernatural means, was common among the Samnites, who practice augury, the observation of the flight of birds, and heraspicy, the examining of the entrails of sacrificed animals. Both of these traditions would be absorbed by the Romans. The Villanovan culture was the earliest a transition culture from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, which existed in central and northern Italy. This Villanovan culture is believed to be the precursor to the Etruscan civilization. The term Villanova comes from the village of Villanova, near Bologna, where the first artifacts associated with this culture were discovered in the 19th century. The Villanovans are known for their characteristic burial practices. They cremated their dead and placed the ashes in urns, often shaped like small huts, which were then buried in cemeteries. The style of these urns, along with other artifacts like the fibulae and pottery, are among the distinguishing characteristics of the Villanovan culture. Given the close relationship between the Villanovan culture and later Etruscan civilization, it is likely that their religious beliefs and practices were similar to those of the early Etruscans. The elaborate nature of the Villanovan burial practices suggests that they place significant importance on rituals associated with death and the afterlife. The urns were often placed in a burial mound, and grave goods such as personal belongings and food were included. Like many other ancient cultures, the Villanovans may have practiced animism, the belief that all things, including animals, plants, and rivers, even mountains, have a spirit. Like the Etruscans, the Villanovans before them practice divination, interpreting natural phenomena as signs or messages or oracles or omens from the gods, religious rituals involving offerings and sacrifices. The Etruscans, who came after them, were a civilization that inhabited the region known as Etruria, or modern-day Tuscany. The Etruscan civilization flourished around the 8th century BCE and was fully assimilated into the Roman Republic by the 4th century BCE. These Etruscans were highly influential, particularly in shaping Roman civilization they were known for their art, architecture, and urban planning. And they were one of the few ancient societies that offered high status to women. The Etruscan religion was complex and heavily influenced by Greek and Near Eastern religions. They had an elaborate pantheon of gods, including Tenea, which was later equivalent with Zeus and Jupiter, Uni, later equated with Hera or Juno. Then there's Minerva, also later synced with Athena. They also believed in various other gods, Silvanus, who I've mentioned earlier, who was also worshipped by the Samnites. Divination was an integral part of Etruscan religious practice. Etruscans believed that they could discern the will of the gods through signs and omens, particularly by studying the phenomena such as lightning or checking the entrails of a sacrificed bull, 
a practice known as Harris Spice. <laughs> 